T with the staff. Good morning, Dr. Jackson. Good morning. How are you feeling today? Magnificent. Okay, we have a few questions for you. Awesome. How do you ensure that your teachers have adequate administrative support? How do you ensure that your teachers have adequate? How do you ensure that your teachers have adequate administrative support? It is a process that involves several steps. Um, first, I have to learn my team's strengths as well as their deficiencies, so I can find out which ways that I need to go in, either physically or via technology, to support them the best ways that I can. But one of the main things that I like to do is physically go around, be in there with them, and then ask them how I can support them, but also when I know their strengths, making sure that I find the best way to foster their strengths so that they can be successful as well. When dealing with a problematic student, at what point do you call the parents? Immediately. Um, everything starts at home. It could be that they had a bad day, they got into an argument with the parent, maybe they got dumped, maybe they're, they don't like their new hairstyle, their new shoes, or they didn't get shoes. Whatever it is, normally someone at home has more of an insight mm -hmm. than what we have. Um, and making sure that you have a great relationship with the parents so they feel comfortable enough to open up with you so that we can make sure that we do everything that we can at the school to make sure that students are successful. What do you feel is the best measure of student success as a principal? Um, so I feel like this is not the politically correct answer. I'm supposed to say academics, looking at statewide assessments, looking at their grades. But honestly, it's in combination with how they flourish here at school. Do um, they make new friends? Are they coming out of their shell? Are they wanting to be involved in more activities? Are they coming up with ideas for events, field trips? So it's not just the academics, it's how they're flourishing as a student as well. Tea time with teachers, take one. Oh, this tea time? Oh, wow. <laughs> Today's not your day to talk. Good morning, Ms. Robinson. Hey, good morning, How Valentina. Are you? I'm great, thank you. Wait, I'm so sorry, I lost my notes. Okay, do it again. Teachers, take three. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, Ms. Robinson. How are you? Good morning, Valentina. I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Awesome time. I have a few questions for you. Sure. Okay, first, why are you interested of, at teaching? Oh my god. I'm <laughs> interested at teaching at the school. Yeah. Delete. The question. Is Wait, I'm, I'm okay. Camera rolling. Just keep the camera rolling. Your production team is. Why are you interested in teaching at this school? I choose to teach at this school because I feel like the population that we serve um, can really use my, what do you call this, influence, mm -hmm. and being in a smaller environment will allow me to. Um, help them to better achieve their goals. Mm -hmm. That's it? No, there's more. Okay, there's more. What is your greatest professional accomplishment? I'm a teacher. How do you use technology in the classroom? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I love to use my smart board. Um, I like for my students to come up, do interactive things, we'll get there. Mm -hmm. okay. And I like to project a lot. Sometimes, you know, on free days though, we watch movies. We if you do what you have to do, then you can do what you want to do. That's what Ms. Robinson's saying. What adjectives would you use to describe your presence in the classroom? Oh, my presence in the classroom. Well, if I have my coffee that day, I'm quite excitable. Yeah. I have a lot of energy, effervescence. That's right. In my classroom, I like to keep the energy high so that my students are engaged in learning. So, you know how um, homecoming has been boosted up a week? Mm -hmm. Oh. Who are you taking to homecoming? Who am I taking to homecoming? I am taking me, myself, and I. I got three okay. dates. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your time, Ms. Robinson. You're welcome.